reports are starting to file in that people are becoming aware they are on to Eddie Hearn. The shtick that he has reaped upon the people in mass for boxing over the past five to six years is seemingly getting crystal clear. Let's talk. desperate is capable of many of things. This may be the beginning of desperation for Eddie Hearn. He is currently, according to World Boxing News, facing widespread criticism for his actions in a unique happening not previously known to the man behind Katie Taylor and Anthony Joshua. Completely disregarding the British Boxing Board of Control, Hearn even brought in lawyers to overthrow the BBB of C's decision not to sanction the grudge match between Chris Eubank Jr. and Connor Nigel Benn. World Boxing News is reporting that he is currently being looked at by people from the UK. Unprecedented backlash is what he's facing. Is the backlash justified? Most likely. We're talking about a man who has consistently brought scrutiny not only upon himself, the promotional company that he heads, the fighters whom he's been conducting business with. But now the loyalties, the support is starting to show cracks in the foundation. The article from World Boxing News goes on to say, usually loved by UK's boxing's massive following of young men, Hearn was publicly defended in the past when things went wrong. Like the time he put 70,000 fans inside a Texas stadium during the height of the pandemic, or when Dillian White tested positive for Deanna Ball after fighting Oscar Rivas and Hearn was caught on a hot mic saying, mate, that was the miracle of all miracles, wasn't it? Think about it, people. Ed Hearn has consistently done things privately, openly, that have tarnished the sport of boxing and the ethical representation by leaders such as himself. Not to mention the many times Joshua has been moved away from facing the best heavyweights of this generation. Now Hearn is finally taking the heat. It's coming from the community that is usually a staunch defender of the Essex man. One detractor said, remember Eddie Hearn would have concealed Connor Ben's failed test if he could have, as he did 
you know who. This article is very interesting. And remember, Stormy B-Man often says that to read is important. Don't just listen to sound bites on TikTok and on the internet and on Twitter. But start looking into things and investigating for yourself. You will find that there happens to be something out there that will be beneficial to increase your knowledge regarding this sport. Another stated, Eddie Hearn is in bang in trouble. His Golden Goose, AJ, lost his last two. He has no belts and a $120 million zone contract to try and keep on track. Hearn's biggest attraction other than him is Conor Ben, who's now been caught juicing. What a blank show since he's logged off of Sky Sports. A third has added, now we know why Eddie Hearn and Joshua ducked Fury. Their legal teams were too busy trying to con the public and make a failed drug test disappear. Are we not surprised? Are we entertained? Absolutely not. But that's not all. Joshua being pulled out of the Fury talks as a contract was waiting to be signed is also fresh in the minds of the paying public. One said Anthony Joshua would never fight one of Joe Joyce, Tyson Fury, or Deontay Wilder. He's such a coward. He has only fought the about to retire Klitschko once. They never fought and won a big built up match. Shame on Eddie Hearn. Another added, well done Hearn for confirming one of the biggest ducks, Joshua pulling out of the Fury fight. You've got everything you wanted and more, but called it off when every obstacle you tried to put in place has been dealt with. Scandal appears to be the maid of order for Matron and Hearn. And people are becoming fed up, especially in this time of huge inflation and when the cost of a ticket is increasingly putting pressure on households of people who want to support the sport. Is his time coming to an end? Let's hope so. Because typically when someone falters and is in a situation where they lose other observers can learn from those mistakes, learn not to make them, not run and hide, not try to overcompensate or pay someone off or come in through the basement instead of the front door. This is Stormy B-Man. What are your thoughts about her and Matru and where they are headed? Leave comments. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective third eye view of the world. Leave comments. Let's discuss. Has Eddie Hearn's time with Matchroom run out? That's all I have at this time. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.